and how you control impatience. You control impatience by being patient. What causes a man to just get up and just to do things without thinking? What causes it? Shaitan causes it. Shaitan rushes. And that is the characteristic of our ego too. Man rushing to do things. Because you're in gauntlet. Because the ego never wants to think. Shaitan never wants to think. Shaitan definitely doesn't want you to think. Because once you think, you're opening your heart and the divine voice may come. The divine voice from the Holy Prophet may come. And the holy voices of your shaykh or the angels, they may come. So they say, don't think. Don't think. Because intelligence is part of faith. When you don't have too much faith, you're going to be rushing. Definitely. Because faith is also looking to those ones who have faith. Taking them to be the role model. Should I have any rushing to do things? Never. Never he rushes. We rush. But we're watching him. He's slow. He's deliberate. He's waiting. He's thinking. And hundred different ways about one single thing and then he waits for something from divine to come. He doesn't rush. But rushing coming from shaitan. So what causes it? Shaitan causes it. You're sitting. Which way do you want to be? Rahman or shaitan? You can be with shaitan. You can rush. You're just going to crash and burn that time. That's all. The ego, ego doesn't think, the ego just goes. Whatever makes it feel good is just going to do. Who thinks? The men of religion. Who thinks? People who have faith. Who thinks? Those ones who are servants to Allah. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing in so many ayats in the Quran and Kareem saying, think, 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 stop to think, understand and think. Don't just go according to it from your stomach. Think. Pause for a while and watch and understand. Because we have been created to think. And intelligence, it is part of the faith. Three things were brought to Adam alayhi salam. Three gifts. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to Adam alayhi salam. And he's asking... Allah is giving the order saying Adam alayhi salam can only choose one, one gift, one present. Allah sent him intelligence, faith, and modesty. Intelligence, faith, and modesty. That question before, intelligence and faith and how important intelligence, this is tying into that question. When he was brought to Adam alayhi salam, he chose intelligence. And the angel who brought those gifts to him, saying to faith and modesty, saying, you have to go, you have to return. They refused. They said, we're not going to return, we're going to stay. But this is divine order, you have to go, he has to choose only one. No, faith is saying, I cannot go because Allah has given me an order where there is intelligence, I have to be. So you have intelligence, faith is going to be there. Then the angel said to modesty, then you may go. You have to go. He says, no, because Allah gave me an order where there is faith, there is modesty. Check your modesty. You don't have modesty, you don't have faith. You don't have faith, you don't have intelligence. That's why you see people, they are... Uh, something is wrong with them and they just go off. He's saying, this doesn't fit into someone who is modest. Modesty gone, faith gone, intelligence gone. They say the most disgusting things and you say, did you think before you say these words? No. 
then you're friends with shaitan. We have nothing to do with you. Think. Who is going to be your role model to think? You have your shaykh. Look to how he thinks. This is how we're going to understand, we're going to connect. This is how we're going to enter into the oceans of our shaykh. This is how we're going to follow in his footsteps. This is how we're going to make fana. These are the steps. Not to just make billions of zikr and then to have some sort of uh, fantasy. That is not that. Like I said, how are you going to follow the Ahlul Bayt? How are you going to show love to them? How are you going to show love to the Prophet? How are you going to show love to the Sahaba Kiram? Exactly as the Prophet says, be ready for hardship. May Allah give us more strength, inshallah. We're asking for more uh, patience. We're asking, inshallah. <coughs> inshallah, Rahman. May Allah give us more patience and more faith, more intelligence, and more modesty, inshallah. Especially in these holy months. Wa Allah, Fatiha.